Hello. In this video, I wanted to go over the network setup I did to back up one NAS to another at a remote location using a wireless bridge. So I have I've made videos on these uh, wireless bridge devices. It's a Ubiquiti NanoBeam Gen 2. I'll put a link in the description to my Ubiquiti playlist and my Synology playlist, and I have videos on the setup of this equipment there. I'll also put a link to the equipment I used and where you can buy it on Amazon using my affiliate link. And if you buy through that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I really appreciate that. So what I have here are two LANs. I have home and remote. So this would be like if you went to your neighbor's house and they had internet and you had internet and you have completely separate local area networks, completely separate systems, which is essentially what I did. So this dotted line here represents the dividing line between LANs. You'll notice it goes right through the middle of the DS-718. So the DS-718 has dual Ethernet ports. So I've set up one Ethernet port on 192.168.7.5 and the other is on 192.168.2.5. So the DS-718 is on two separate LANs. One of the LANs, it is, it's local to its location and it has its own internet, its own switch. The other one connects over the wireless bridge to the other house, which has its own switch and internet connection. So the DS-718 is operating with two LANs. Let's go into the interface of the DS-718 and look at that. So I have the DS-718 up here. I'll go to the control panel. I'll go to network and I'll uh, click network on the left side and click network interface and you'll see here there's LAN 1 and LAN 2. So if I open these or expand them, you'll see that the LAN 2 has an IP address of 192.168.2.5. If I edit this, you'll see it says set as default gateway. And then if I click on 192.168.7.5, that is unchecked. So if we go back to our diagram here, You'll see this 192.168.2.5 is set as the default gateway. So that means anytime the DS718 Plus needs to connect to the internet, it's going to go through the local LAN and local internet service. So this would be for like system updates or any other remote connections or anything like that. If I switch that set as default gateway over to the other LAN, anytime it connected to the internet, it would go over the wireless link through the switch and out the internet access at home one. It made more sense to do it to the local internet access. So this DS-18 essentially has two LANs on it um, that can connect to its own um, equipment on each side. So any computers on the remote side can connect to DS-718 on the local LAN port and any computers on the home side can connect to the DS-718 on the, the home LAN side. So now that I have all the networking set up, I have the DS918 and the DS718 where they can talk to each other and thus back up to each other. I'm not going to do any, I'm not going to talk about the backup setup in this video. I just want to talk about the net networking setup. So um, this might be useful for someone who um, has a neighbor that they, well, like a relative, that's how I do it. Um, where they can put networking equipment in and use the wireless bridge to back up to the neighbor's house and vice versa. It could also be used if you have a business within a you know, wireless distance make, doing a bridge. You can also do this you know, using Quick Connect and some things like that. But I wanted to have my own network so I, I didn't uh, hit data caps or things like that. And uh, so far I've been using this for quite a while and it's been working out very well. I'll be making more videos on the backup I used to set this up, but I want to make this video to show the network setup uh, for this configuration. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate that. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.